to their own concerns over internet security and users' privacy, VPN services are in high demand. So let's continue our VPN series reviews with another one, Winscribe. But first, a brief reminder about this type of software. VPN, or Virtual Private Network, is a service that keeps your data and web browsing confidential while using public Wi-Fi and hotspots. Uh, VPN services may help you to protect sensitive information from uh, curious eyes of the hotel staff, governmental workers, or even a person sitting next to you in a restaurant. Even if uh, you are not concerned about privacy, a reliable VPN service could help overcome local restrictions for video and music streaming and deal with governmental censorship. The best way to describe the mechanism of VPN is to compare it with a trip. Imagine while on it, you go through a tunnel. Once you're at a tunnel, it becomes difficult for other people to control your movement. Similar principle for a VPN. When you use VPN, your PC or any other digital device connects to some remote service located in the US, Thailand, Canada or whatever. Once connected, you appear inside the tunnel, which means that it becomes challenging for third parties to track your web browsing, request your data or control or view your internet activity. Only a VPN provider and a website are aware of your actions on the web. That's why VPNs can be useful in protecting sensitive data and decreasing chances of hacker attacks. Uh, in this review, I check the advantages and disadvantages of both free and pro versions and tell who is a Robert and why it is an important part of Winscribe. Also, I show you how its interface looks depending on the platform used and of course analyze and compare pricing policy. So let's begin. What is Winscribe? Previously, Winscribe VPN has been an average service with no special features. In contrast to some competitors, it did not offer extra speed. But after a few huge updates, it has become one of the fastest and stable in the field and now it does also improve the industry standard 256-bit AES encryption. The service has free and paid versions which will meet the needs of the most demanding users. The trial version provides up to 10 GB of bandwidth per month, while a paid alternative will offer nearly 175 locations worldwide and a set of extra features that will make web browsing more secure and convenient. It helps users operate anonymously without the risk of data being disclosed to other parties due to the fact that Winscribe does not log your sessions. According to their privacy policy, they don't save records about your VPN sessions, visited sites and real locations. But to prevent abuse, they keep data about bandwidth used by clients of the free version. It's not an ideal, but required step to keep bandwidth available for all users. Also, Winscribe is one of the favorite VPN services among internet users thanks to its frequent discounts, promo codes, and dozen free gigabytes and friendly emails from support. For example, its Chrome extension has been installed by more than 2 million users around the world. Free plan and high quality are not the only reasons for Winscribe's popularity. Next, we check its features in detail. Interface user experience Windows OS. Winscribe VPN has several strong advantages like choice of locations, strong security, etc. Its interface is a bit ambiguous. On the one hand, this is a small window that is maximally simplified for beginners. Here you see a large power button, to the left of which there is information about your connection such as location, protocol and port number. A little lower here is information about your public IP, which you are currently using for traveling on the internet. When you connect to any of the service, your real IP will be masked to hide your real location. There is also a button to turn on the firewall. But according to the description, it means rather kill switch, a feature which blocks your internet connection to prevent your real IP disclosure in cases of unexpectedly closing connection with a selected VPN server. And of course, there is a drop down menu with a list of available servers and a traffic counter for users of the free version. If you want to customize your Winscribe client behavior, change technical details or log into your account, you should go to the settings. Like the main window, they are very compact but divided into five tabs. The first tab is related to the interface, notifications, program language, server sorting, and the list, etc. The second tab contains information about your account, authorization status, and use description conditions. The third concerns connection details. Here you can set up a list of trusted networks where Winscribe Auto Start will be disabled. 
new with it is the split tunneling. This feature allows you to configure using VPN connections only for certain programs as basically all desktop VPNs clients take under control all traffic in your system. You can also manage connection security settings like firewall, DNS provider, internet traffic filtering, etc. The fourth tab has only two options. Secure hotspot, which allows you to share Wi-Fi networks created inside VPN tunnel, and proxy gateway, which enable a proxy server for connection. These options look similar, but they have technical differences, so read help materials on the Winscribe website to learn more about them. By the way, Winscribe can also use a proxy server too, its settings are in the previous tab. The last fifth tab is debug. Here you can configure logging, special connection features and more. It will be relevant only for experienced users and for those whose clients work incorrectly with default settings. If you are not good enough to figure it out, the Winscribe team prepared detailed guide for various scenarios with VPN, for example setting up Winscribe for Linux, Ubuntu, working with torrent clients, routers, etc. And of course there are buttons which allow you to access online help, log out and close the program. Although in my opinion they would be more appropriate in the main window, macOS. The interface for Mac devices is similar to the one for Windows. But due to OS limitations, some features are unavailable here. For example, tab driver settings in the debug tab and IPv6 using options. It's also worth noting that you need to download the Winscribe client for Mac from the official Winscribe website and they aren't available in the App Store. Android. Compared to Mac OS and Windows clients, Winscribe Android app has several significant differences in regards to interface and functionality. Appearance is traditionally compact but in dark color scheme. The upper screen part is occupied with information fields and the connect button. The rest is reserved for the available servers list. Setting window shows that the app works under IKE v2, UDP, TCP, Stealth and WireGuard, which together with 12 outgoing ports is pretty good for an Android app. Browser extension. Winscribe recommends using a browser extension alongside desktop applications. As an extension for browsers, it is available for desktop versions of Chrome, Opera, Mozilla and Edge. Worth nothing that I found two additional tabs not available in the desktop client. The first one is privacy, where there are interesting features such as automated cookie deletion, website notification blocker and a set of different warp options which prevent websites from collecting your digital fingerprint, digital fingerprint set of uh, depersonalized options, browser versions, system language, etc. which together may be used for identifying users. The second tab is blocker, where the most noble features such as ads blocking, threatening prevention and blocking annoying messages about cookies policy. Also, I must mention that a base for ad blocking Binscribe uses uBlock, which is known as one of the most effective ad blockers. You can configure it manually if you enable advanced mode here in the blocker tab. Other tabs of browser extensions differ from desktop clients too because uh, discarded options are unavailable in browsers like split tunneling, DNS option and connection settings. But they also have some own options like auto switch locations, websites whitelist and others. And a little tip at the end. You can quickly add a site to whitelist, allow ads or block cookies by clicking on the whitelist settings button directly in the main window. Features. And let's do a summary of key parameters. First pros of Winscribe is it's available in 12 platforms in total. It has apps for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and iOS. Also it can be used for systems with Amazon Fire TV, Nvidia Shield uh, and Kodi on board. And as I told earlier, extensions are available for most popular browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, Opera and Microsoft Edge. Unavailable in free. The free version has a restricted set of features, but it is enough for an average user. Winscribe provide connection from 107 cities with data centers in almost 70 countries, but in free version available only 24 locations from 11 countries. It does not bring any discomfort as these options are enough to ensure smooth streaming and protect sensitive data. Thus, you'll be able to access any blog content in your region. Although Winscribe is not super fast, it provides a well-balanced combination of security, locations and VPN features. The software also does not require much memory as its install file is almost 20 megabytes only. 
Apart from a wide choice of locations, Windscry VPN also supports all the best protocols including OpenVPN and IKE v2, which are actually used by default, as well as lets widespread protocols like UDP, TCP, Stealth, via Tunnel. Also, one of the reasons to choose Winscribe is its AES-256 cipher encryption with SHA-512 aut and a 4000-bit RSA key. Security specialists will definitely like the latter feature as it guarantees great privacy and high level of data protection. Winscribe is also easy to use since it supports most of the popular browsers. It's not unique between good VPN services, but Winscribe is one of the few VPNs whose browser extensions detect and recommend using desktop apps to make VPN inside VPN called Double Hop for better protection. Also in this case, you can use uh, both same or different accounts in desktop and browser apps. But keep in mind that every additional VPN point in your traffic route increases your ping which may have a bad impact on your internet connection speed. So this option is good for security but not for big data amounts typical for streaming or large files transferring. Anti-malware protection by Winscry previously I promised to tell you what Robert is and how it depends on Winscry. So Robert is an acronym for Exclusive Winscry Technology which stands for Remote Omnidirectional Badware Eliminating Robotic Tool. Remote Omnidirectional Badware Eliminating Robotic Tool or Robert is designed for secure internet surfing by means of filtering and blocking malicious links, banners, etc. It can be used in four ways of operation. 1. Disable filtering, which is appropriate if you are confident about the web content. 2. Activate protection against malware, phishing sites, and botnets, which is enabled by default. 3. Blocks advertising, trackers, and 4. Maximum protection, all modes combined, plus blocking social network trackers. Why is it useful? By blocking trackers and banners that could collect user information, Robert contributes to protection of your privacy on the internet. Now when the secret is out, let's move on to another super feature by Winscribe called Winflix. Winflix and streaming services, among other features that is most parts are typical for any VPN software, Winscribe rolls out one fun thing called Winflix. Seems a fine and useful feature. Get access to your Netflix account from anywhere on the planet, just use one of the special servers to connect. It has four servers for the United Kingdom, Canada, Japan and United States. They are available only in the premium version of course, while with other servers you ought not to be able to stream your Netflix. Well, this feature seems to be overrated and a bit of a stretcher to be frank. First of all, Netflix is available for streaming in 190 countries, so it's not about unblocking restricted websites. Secondly, yes, Netflix content may vary from location to location. So let's suppose you want the same full access to your US account when you're in France or elsewhere. But you can do that with regular locations available in the Winscribe free version. We tested 5 connections and we got our usual Netflix just fine. At the same time, Winflix servers are less loaded by users, so your film or series will be loaded faster. So if somebody asks you why you use a VPN, mentioning Netflix in your answer is uh, one way to be persuasive. So thumbs up to the Winscribe marketing team and if someone asks, yes, you can watch Netflix with Winscribe. Also after finishing testing Winflix in the service, I decided to check how good Winscribe is in other problematic situations. First of all, I checked it with another streaming service and it was BBC iPlayer. Something like Netflix, but with projects only from the famous British channel BBC. My testing has shown positive results with free service as well. Winscribe supports P2P protocol and that's why torrent networks do not cause difficulties too. Testing has even indicated high download speed in a torrent client while VPN is up. Also, it is worth noting that ads and banners in a torrent are not displayed thanks to the robot. At the final, I tested Tor browser along with VPN service. Winscribe has shown a stable connection speed without interruptions. Performance test. Many VPN services look good but do not perform as advertised, so I'm skeptical about upbeat description and bright interfaces when it comes to reviews and tests. Especially with VPNs when often under guarded connection, a device might continue using its default DNS, leaving space for third parties to track location and data. 
If it happens, VPN shows poor performance and fails to guarantee internet security. I conducted 6 different tests and now I will tell you how Winscribe completed them. Also show you what instruments I use so you can repeat them manually for your Winscribe or any other VPN client. My VPN service testing algorithm includes repeating each test 3 times for every available server. Winscribe periodically scans all available for you service to find which have best characteristics like ping and loading and propose it as best server in the service list. But to visualize it, in this video I will use only one server named Frankfurt Castle which is located in Germany and selected as recommended for me. The first test of course is the speed test. There are dozens of VPNs on the market and they all promise super and ultra speed service despite that some technical reasons like overload by clients and big ping number may have huge impact on speed. Anyway, to test Winscribe, I used a well-known speed test by Ookla. The average ping for the server is 22 ms while in the average download speed was 46 megabytes per second. Also I repeated this test with another speed test provider and it shows almost the same results. Ping nearly 31, download speed equal 36 megabytes per second and average upload speed is 27. For the next test I used tools by Browser Leaks. The IP leaking test checks how Winscribe hides your real IP from other services. As you can see, the service identified the IP and location as selected in Winscribe, which is correct result. Free another channel of leaking IP is the geolocation function which is part of HTML5 used in almost every website. In this case, your real IP can be discovered via standard tools which are in every browser. My real location isn't acquired, so this test Winscribe successfully passed to. 4. I test leaking from browsers and direct requests, but what about JavaScript? To check this, in my fourth test I used the WebRTC leaking test tool. And it also shows a good result. 5. The fifth test will be about DNS leaking channels. In short, DNS is a special service which is an essential part of modern internet and transforms website names into their IP addresses. In some cases, if these requests are not protected on the required level, they can be used to watch out for your internet activity. I will launch an extended test for this and Winscribe passed this test too. 6. And the last test is about IP addresses purity. But first a few words about this. Some users may use VPNs for fraudulent activities such as spamming, sharing malware and others. One of the ways to prevent this is a global IP blacklist, which protection tools like firewalls, antivirus and even online games use to protect their clients. If you use IP which are blacklisted, you may be preventively banned on some websites or services even if you open them at the first time in your life. Good VPN providers operatively work with global IP blacklist owners to delete their IP addresses from the list and save their users from such stress as unavailable favorite site or long emailing with support about banned reasons. Checking the IP manually in every list will require a lot of time so a better way to use a special aggregator is for this. I use whatismyipaddress.com which identifies whether an IP addresses is listed in the 82 anti-spam databases. With, their, with being clear, in 79 lists this is 96% passed because some blacklist owners may slowly react to requests for deletion. Also if IP is really dangerous it appears in most blacklists during a few days. Now after test, it's time to speak about Winscribe pricing. It is convenient that Winscribe has a trial version. You can download it to any device regardless of the platform you use and enjoy all the benefits of the VPN services. On the other hand, free Winscribe has traffic limitations which depend on your membership and registration type. If you register without email, you will have up to 2GB, which is not quite enough for an advanced user. To increase the limit, you will have to sign in with an email, which raises traffic limit to 10GB. Also, we have a little life hack for you. You can refer a friend to Winscribe, which will grant you an additional 1GB above the limit. Neat trick if you don't want to buy a pro version. Uh, and if your friend pays for the pro version, you will get a pro account too for the same subscription period. The other cool way to buy Winscribe is they built a plan tier. 
Uh, there you can manually select your country where you need a server and pay for it only $1 per month, but this unlocks pro locations only. If you pay another $1, you will get unlimited traffic and most of Robert's features. Only $2 for unlimited traffic with access to one of the almost 70 countries, it sounds as one of the best offers between VPN services. If you change service list in your package, you will get a refund for unused part of the month. Nevertheless, the minimum possible price is $2 for a month. However, if the features provided are not enough for you, be ready to pay $9 per month. The price is a bit above the average on the market, but this pro version offers a full list of locations and all connection protocols. But I think that in this case, more reasonable will be an annual subscription for $49, which saves up to $60. Bucks. It is much cheaper than spending $108 for a year if you pay for Winscribe $9 per month. Additionally, if you buy Winscribe VPN for a team of employees, you can manage team accounts through Scribe Force. A managed account has all the features of Winscribe Pro, so this option might appeal to corporate clients. Winscribe Return Policy provides only a 3 day period after purchase for refunds subject to the necessary conditions. Winscribe reserves the right to refuse refunds if a user violates the terms of service or uses more than 10 GB of traffic. Under these conditions, Winscribe guarantees a refund without any explanation and will pay it back during 30 days. That's the most important information about pricing policy, so it's time to summarize all said above and make a verdict for Winscribe. After multiple tests, I concluded that Winscribe is a decent VPN product. For an average user with no extra requirements, it will most probably do well. Winscribe passed all the tests and displayed excellent performance. Pro version brings a lot of extra features and protocol that security professionals might find appealing. Overall, I saw the following benefits of Winscribe VPN. Free version with monthly traffic counter reset. Clean unified interface regardless on the platform. Scribe Force tool for team account management. Top security and privacy standards. Wide choice of locations and countries, possibility to conduct anonymous crypto to transactions, multiple devices support. However, nothing is perfect, neither is Winscribe. High monthly subscription price, strict refund policy, non-scalable window, bandwidth restrictions, some important buttons are hidden in submenus. Well, that's all I have to say about Winscribe VPN. You can comment below what VPN you'd like me to review next and don't forget to subscribe for new videos. Bye.